What's good, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that bell notification so you'll be alerted whenever I drop new content. Fresh off the Tyson Fury victory against Derek Chisora 3 in their trilogy. Um, you know, I was on live. I was just... <laughs> I was struggling to stay awake. You know, I mean, if I wasn't chatting with you guys and reading the comments, I would have definitely fell asleep. If I was just home, laying on my couch, watching a fight, I would have definitely fell asleep. All right. Um, this is the thing. None of us knew, like none of us thought that Chisora had a real chance of winning the fight. All right. We all know that it was just a stay busy fight. I believe that this was a part of the plan from the beginning, you know, and no one asked for this fight, right? Especially for a trilogy. Sykes Fury has already stopped Chisora, all right? He's beaten him on points. He stopped him dominant in dominant, dominant fashion before. And we get the fight tonight, and it goes for 10 rounds. Um, Fury won every round to me. You know, I think Derek, there was periods where he did, like, land some big overhand rights. But at the end of the day... um. Most people expected Fury to carry him. You know, we know that Fury and Chisora are friends. All right. And I expected Fury to carry him. But I thought five, six, seven rounds maybe. You know, um, I think Fury proved to us that he can hurt Chisora at any given time. You know, and not to take anything away from Chisora. I know he's tough. We love him. He's given us great fights. He's given us, he, he gives us his all every single time he goes in the ring. But I feel that when you're in a ring with someone that you're in a completely different class or universe, then you have to perform, you know. And when it comes to you carrying fights, you're doing more damage by letting the fight go longer where you're throwing and landing more punches, you know. Tyson Fury, where were the combinations? The punches you did land that had them buzzed. Why didn't you follow it up with anything? Why the extra amount of just tying up? You know, you land a shot and then you lean on him after. Follow it up with something. Keep some sort of distance. Why are you smothering your own punches? We know that you are capable of stopping Chisora. Why put him through the punishment of Letting it go. The ref, the referee is like enough is enough. He told Chisora before the 10th round that he is going to stop the fight if he continues to take punishment. Chisora, swollen right eye, uh, bruises around his face and head, just taking punishment, unnecessary punishment for 10 rounds. For what? You know, the crowd wasn't into it. You looking in, into the crowd. Yes, they sold 60,000 tickets. Great. The crowd was not into the fight. No one was into the fight. You know? Chizora didn't have a moment in the fight. It was just Chizora coming forward, taking a punishment. You know? There's no real... There was never any real point. Like, you know, it's like, like with the Usyk fight. It was a competitive fight. Usyk won, but Chizora roughed him up a bit. Made it tough. Chisora tried to come out being aggressive. Fury shut that down after the first half of the first round. And Chisora slowed down. was completely neutralized early on. And that was that. Now, I didn't think it'd go that far. I, you know, obviously, I picked five. You know, Fury will end it in five or six rounds. But it went to the 10th. And I feel that if it wasn't for the referee, the fight would have went to distance. Listen, if you're not, if you're going to take a fight that nobody asked for, especially a trilogy that no one asked for, at least get the job done. You know, and I'm concerned about Derek's safety, but just him taking that abuse for that long just makes no sense to me. All right. Now, what happens here? Well, I heard Tyson Fury mention something about an elbow injury, a right hand or elbow injury on the post-fight uh, post fight interview. I don't know what that means. I heard him mention something about surgery. I had the volume a little low because I was still live when he was talking about that. 
Um, I don't know if that may delay the undisputed or potential undisputed fight, but I wouldn't want Fury to come back and not be 100%, especially against Usyk or even anyone at this point because anyone he fights at this point um, is going to be tough. So I hope that doesn't delay things too much, but if that is true and he is injury, injured or injured his hand, you know, I mean, do what you got to take. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be mad because I want to see the fight, but I wouldn't want to see Fury fight if he's not 100% because I wouldn't want that to be an excuse if the fight doesn't go his way, right? Um, Jazora, I would like for him to retire. You know, I think this fight, you got another title fight. I don't think there's anything else to prove here in your career. You've been in there with almost... <clears throat> Everybody in this generation and some in the previous generation, you didn't win them all, but you got some good wins. You had a great career. You earned a lot of money. If you can get away from this fight and be healthy, leave now because they're going to just start feeding you to younger, hungry wolves. And even if you can beat one or two of them, it's just not worth the risk. If you made the money, get out now. I think Andre Ward made a great speech at the end just talking about him and how he feels that Derek should leave. I agree with 100%. As far as Fury and Usyk and Joe Joyce, who were all there, I thought the whole back and forth between them was kind of corny in the beginning, but it became kind of funny at the end when Joyce joined up and they did the whole three-way thing. Um... I just want the Usyk fight at this point. That's all I want. You know, I want that at this point. Uh, he said if he can't get Usyk in the ring, he'll fight Joyce. I think he's just selling that. I don't think that's going to actually happen, but you never know. Um, I hope it's Usyk. I just want them to consolidate these titles. I know one of you asked me about the IBF and if he's willing to vacate the title because he doesn't want to pay the sanction of fees for them since they stripped them in the past or they were the first to strip them in the, in the past. If that's the case, fine. Just make the fight. We know that you and Usyk are the two top guys. You're undefeated. You guys fight each other, all right? Between you four, AJ and Fury, AJ and, and, and uh, Wilder, they lost. So let these two fight. And us figure out who's the best in this generation. That's what it's really about. We want you to be undisputed. Technically, yes. But let's not let uh, a sanctioned body hold up this fight any longer. All right? Um, but yeah. Fights with Joyce. Fights with AJ. They're all still good fights. We want to see them. But we want to see Usyk and Fury next. Um, and that's it. There's really not much to say about it. You know, Fury dominated. He won every round to me. And... That's pretty much it. It's nothing else to really talk about. I hope Chisora retires. He had a great career. But um, there's nothing else left that to be made, you know. Um, AJ is going to probably come back and fight White for a second time. And uh, Wilder is going to be fighting Andy Ruiz. And that's that's those are good fights. So, you know, let's get those fights and move on. All right? That's my stance on it. Uh, and, y'all, I will be covering the Chocolatito Francisco um, or, um, uh, Strata fight later on in a couple of hours. All right. So I'll see you guys then. You guys have a good night. Subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button. Share the video. I'm out. Peace.